So today is the winter solstice and it brings tons of gifts for me and I'm sure for you guys. But this year is a little bit special. I got the plans for an earth ship. So I just got these plans earlier today and I've already scheduled a meeting with our architects right before the Christmas holidays. Basically, they're willing to look at these plans, potentially stamp these plans, and they've also stamped our greenhouse plans, so thanks to them for that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to open these up. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to bring them in the hands and get this ball rolling for our Earthship Learning Center in Valhalla. Use me up till my body's more. Use these legs till my muscles have grown sore. Never ever seen a sight so sweet. Then a lonely solo man who's on a lonely solo street I want to roam Well, I'm all alone I want to roam Well, I'm all alone My voice will shake when the sun's coming down and From my lips I'll hear an unfamiliar sound you hate me, then I sure as hell hate you Cause I'm a man without a border And there's nothing I won't do when I'm alone Hands in head, the elevator Going to see Lev And uh, yeah. very excited Long time no see Very, very long time coming These plans are And I know that there's a reason that I never thought of Leaving without you Cause I'm a man without if I had a second chance, well, I'd steal another dance away from you. And I'm not an angry man, but with you, I'm not The interesting thing about tires is that there's not much that you can put in the ground and that can withstand living in the ground as a sacrificial mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. form work. Like, and that is recycled. And that is recycled because like, I mean, I do, I've done a lot of work with straw bale and straw bale is great, but once you get to the ground, you can't, you can't do anything, you can't do with, anything with it. And so you have to have some sort of foundation. Yeah. There's something about the human scale of assembly, mm -hmm. right? That mm -hmm. somehow feels important about an earth ship. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as long as we are guarding, are, are kind of keeping these key conceptual elements in place, I'd be willing to bet that even Michael would be interested in trying something different on those fronts. I right? fully so, agree. Yeah. So I think there's, let's just keep the conceptual doors open. In terms of the main goal of the space, it's really, a lot of it is to be a showroom. And a lot of it is to, meant to look pretty and kind of sell the idea further because that's what we need to continue kind of pushing the development of these kind of things and allowing mm -hmm. more and more interest to flood yeah. into the project more and more. Um, you know, now it's going to be a showroom. It's going to be a showroom. It's a good word because it lets me say a showroom for what. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What actually is the are the important qualities that this will need to show for your for the development that you want. The most important quality is that if everything functions, looks pretty, everything functions, and that people can potentially see themselves living in it. Living in it. Okay. Okay. So. So so they a, have to feel comfortable in it, right? It looks like great. B. Functions, functions problem free. Problem free and like to 21st levels, uh, 21st century standards. Problem free and 21st century. Right? So like I don't want to say, oh, you have to not have a big screen TV. You have to, uh, yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to cut back on the way that you live today yeah. in any way, shape or form. Like obviously there are, I mean, I understand yeah. that there's going to be constraints. Yeah, so but, it has to look great, it has to function to contemporary standards and mm -hmm. maybe even future standards. Right? Yep. Uh, and there was a third thing. It was um, it has to, well, it was a more general thing. You said it has to it has to it's a showroom for helping people imagine themselves living here in, in something like this in the future. Right? Exactly. Because in the I go to the team and I say, okay, we have to market this. We have to raise money for this. It's more about that than anything. Okay. Everyone agrees with the concept that this is a test site. Everyone agrees that this is this, the kind of public area of it all. Yeah. And everyone agrees that the way we're going about it is 100% off the grid and permaculture. Mm -hmm. It's really there to educate and prove the concept. 
even though I know the concept works and I know that greenhouses exist, most people don't. And I always say the funniest thing, and the best goal, like the best way I could say it is if I could convince my mom that it makes sense, mm -hmm. then I've, I've succeeded yeah. in it. What we'll do is we'll start nailing down the, we'll start nailing down Valhalla, mm -hmm. okay? And then we'll start immediately folding Valhalla into Earthship and Earthship into Valhalla, and we'll just keep mixing that I for totally feel a few that. weeks, okay? Great. Then we'll start drafting. So that went great. Um, dropped off the plans, everything's set in motion. What we've got going on and, and, and what we have to do is just kind of laid out. Um, I'm kind of taking the reins on this in terms of the planning and, and even, I guess, the financing of this up front to some degree. Um, but I'm fully confident in the fact that we can find the money for this, even though we have nothing, really. Right now we've got Goodwill, uh, a name. We, we, we do have some precedent in terms of having done some stuff in the past, but, uh, you know, we this is still a fresh project. And this is kind of going to be an adaptation of an Earthship. It's not, you know, the typical Earthship that we're going to build. Uh, we are considering some things to beautify it, to make it even a little bit more mainstream, which is part of our goal here at Valhalla, right? Is to kind of take Earthships and sustainability and kind of make it mainstream to document the process, to teach you guys, as well as us, because it's not like we know that much. Uh, all the time about these kind of things and, and just learn and grow and do it together with people and the right experts, you know. Uh, in terms of working, it's always best to work with the right people and, and the guys at Lef, Sibo, Sudir, Chantal, um, man, I can't say enough about them. They're, they're such professionals, they're great. They break things down into action steps. They've got a good plan laid out and uh, man, I'm excited, it's great. This is. You know, he told me that a year ago I'd be sitting down to Earthship plans and discussing architecture and stuff and design. Like, man, it's such a, I don't know, it's like a dream. It's like a weird thing, you know? I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a videographer, but how do you become these things? How do you, how do you take on a project like this? Well, yeah, I mean, I think the only way you do it is you start, you know? How do you build a home one brick at a time? How do you eat a horse one bite at a time? I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. It's just, it's great, it's great. I'm taking on new roles, learning new things. And no matter whatever happens with any of this, whether it's like, we build an earthship and we're like, eh, eh. It doesn't really matter, because I'm, I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm, and I'm exploring possibilities and, and I'm feeding my curiosity for all of these things. And, you know, I think, you know, I'm, I'm speaking for myself here. But I think all, all Valhalla members and all the people who kind of follow the Valhalla movement to some degree or who identify with what we're propagating or, or kind of advocating here is that we're all curious and um, we all have this hope, this hope that things can be different, that they will be different um, and that we can fix some of the problems that we think are facing our world today and it's not about global warming, it's not about tree hugging, it's not about any of these things, it's about pushing the limits, it's about exploring, being curious, it's about being conscious, and um, you know, not in the cheesy, typical hippie way, but in the new age, this world is awesome, we can do even better kind of way.